Let's now dive right into Translation Workspace and see how it gets used in a translation project. First, we need to set up live assets, that is TMs and glossaries, in the Translation Workspace web user interface. Log in to translate.translationworkspace.com using a web browser and then create a new TM. Just select Create New Translation Memory and follow the prompts to create an empty TM. You'll then need to define the languages you want stored in that TM, or if you have an exported TM from another tool, for example, you can import it into Translation Workspace and the languages will be automatically defined for you. Finally, you have the option of linking other TMs and glossaries to your working TM to make all that content available for reference. To define the language pairs to be used in a TM, select the TM and then go to Manage Languages tab. Click Add to find the language and click Add Source Language or Add Target Language as appropriate. Another powerful feature that is unique to Translation Workspace is background linking. Translation memories and glossaries can be linked together for greater reuse while keeping that underlying information separate and protected. For example, you may have older TMs or TMs from other unrelated projects that you don't want to merge together into a single TM. But you may still want to have their contents available to you for reference. In this case, you can link the reference TMs to your working TM. Background links offer suggested translations, but are protected so they do not get updated. They are a great way to maximize your leveraging without potentially corrupting your valuable TM assets. In this example, I'm working on a translation using a TM called TM for Project A. Any work that I translate using TM for Project A gets saved to TM for Project A, but I also get suggested translations from both my trusted TM and other TM. You can also use premiums and penalties to prioritize the matches that come from each background link. In this example, I have applied a 5% premium to matches coming from my trusted TM, so any translations stored in this TM are prioritized over matches coming from other TMs. By contrast, matches coming from other TM are penalized by 2%. This should become more clear when we look at the examples of matches in the translation clients later. Let's now go to a demo to see how to create a new TM, configure languages, and background link TMs and glossaries to it so they're available for reference. I've opened up a web browser and have browsed to translate.translationworkspace.com. I'll log in using my unique username, password, and tenancy. When the Translation Workspace web user interface opens, I can see the toolbars across the top, a navigation pane to the left where all the workgroups and assets that I've created in the past exist, and when I open and select one of the assets, I can see the users that have permissions to that asset in the user assignment area to the right. The center working pane shows me all the actions that are available against that selected workgroup or asset. To create a new translation memory, I'll select the workgroup where I want to create the TM and then go to Create New Translation Memory. I'll name the translation memory and I can type in a description and select a contact person. Then click Create. That creates my new TM in the navigation pane. If I go to the Manage background links tab, I can background link additional TMs and glossaries to be available for reference during translation. Remember, background links will not get written to, so they are protected. If I click on Add, I can go to other TMs, such as my trusted TM, and add it as a background TM. Since I happen to trust this TM, let's apply a priority of 3%. I can also add other TMs that I might not trust and apply a penalty. I can also background link glossaries so that terminology matches will be available during translation. Select the glossary and then click Add as Background Glossary. When I click Close, I can see that I now have two translation memories and one glossary background linked available as reference to this training working TM. From the Manage Languages tab, I can define the languages that I want to store in this translation memory. Click Add 
and then find the source language. I'll select the source language and click on add source language. Then I'll go back and add and find the target language. And click add target language. Now my translation memory is set up so I can translate from English for United States into French for France.